You're watching Smart Money. The lure of guaranteed income is what attracts most of us to any investment instrument. Keeping this investment psyche in mind, life insurance companies are launching guaranteed income insurance products. But do these schemes really deliver the promised income? Monica, we saw recently uh, a whole range of NAV guaranteed schemes that a lot of insurance companies came with. And everybody thought that, oh, my market returns are guaranteed. And we are now seeing several products out there with, say, 8 or 9 or 7 percent guaranteed assured returns. Is there really a guarantee? How should one look at these products? Again, as always, a small little historical sort of background. There are two kinds of insurance products in the market. There are the equity-linked or the market-linked products called the unit-linked insurance plans and the traditional plans that all of us are used to, like the money back and the um, endowment plans. Now, the ULIP rules were changed in 2010, where the commissions and the costs came down drastically. Now, they're comparable with mutual funds. The traditional products still give an upfront commission in the first year from your premium of up to 40% for products which the premium paying term is 12 years or more. Right? So, 40% of your money still goes as commission in the first year in a product like this, a guaranteed income plan is part of this traditional product basket. Right? Now, what is it that they are guaranteeing? The brochures and the advertisements say 8%. You understand that as 8% return, but it is 8% of the sum assured, or 12% of the sum assured, which is a very different thing. When you do the numbers, what, what, is, uh, what is the rate of return? You put in X over a certain number of years, and after a certain number of years, you begin to get an income back. So these are complicated calculations. You need to do the internal rate of return. You need to do the net present value. When you do that, those numbers, when you do that exercise, you find that the rate of return is actually no more than 4% for most of these plans. Right? So the 8, 9, 11%, I feel is a kind of a, they're, they're misleading investors in a certain way. Because in there, investors are thinking return but the brochure clearly says sum assured, 8% or 12% of sum assured. Now, I don't know how many investors understand this nuanced difference between a sum assured and a guaranteed rate of return, but I feel that they should just ask the person selling, what is my rate of return? Right? Let that person answer that question clearly, because clearly the rate of return is not 13% or 8%. It is much lower, 4%. So I don't think the products work at all. And I also don't think it's a very good idea for companies to probably mislead investors in this manner. Mm. Because everybody understands that the retail investor does not understand the nuances in the financial product jargon. And to market products like that, I think, is uh, probably not correct. All right, let's take a quick break here. But to get our expert opinion on your finances, you can email us, call us, SMS us, or tweet us. After the break, we solve all your money matters. Keep watching Smart Money.